This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hey everybody. Hey <laughs> Macarena. Really excited for you all to listen to today's podcast because all week we've been doing Kylie Minogue competition mm. where we create mm. a competition mm. out of one of Kylie's songs and today was a bit of a test because we thought, you know what, mm. when you ask people to tell you a secret because it was confided in me, Sometimes we think they're just going to lie, mm. right? Yeah, for sure. Today we got served nothing but the truth. I uh, know. And, and the, what, the, what the was truth the truth, is Nat? Astonishing is what it is. No, you and said gross. Gross. It's gross. <laughs> it was gross. Three out of the four of them were gross. <laughs> okay. They were. They were. It's so good when people you, you know oh they were honest from day one. It's so funny because all the girls that all the people yeah. that told a secret were girls, but almost everybody that yeah. we talked when we talked about um, strangers lying. lying for you, they were all almost Meh. all blokes. Yeah. <laughs> so we talk about that. And you're going to hear a story about a brickie. And that is gobsmacking. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, plus, the ultimate test of a relationship, we've discovered, is a trip to Ikea. Um, <laughs> so we talk to people who have and haven't done it. Yep. Uh, Elijah Pepper from the Perth Wildcats. He'll join us as well. Nathan, Nat and Sean. This is what I came for. Yeah. Perth's Nova 937. Keep on giving me Four, five, six. Nathan Atten, Sean, happy Thursday, friends. Hi. Bit wild and woolly overnight, wasn't oh, it? I thought it was getting better. What do you mean? Overnight? What do you yeah, mean? I, I, for some reason, I thought Wednesday was the the worst of it, and then we're moving no, on to no, Thursday luck. and Friday getting better. No, Wednesday night was the worst oh of it. Oh, so, yeah, it yeah, 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 it was. I love it. Went out for dinner in Leaderville, and then it started belting down oh, yeah. at one stage. Where'd you go yeah, to dinner? No. Went to that Will Street, which oh, yeah. is uh, Will, Will Merrick. Merrick. So, yeah. we, when you had your Barley birthday here. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, he came and catered it. Mm. And everything Actually, his wife did most of the cooking that day because it was a traditional Balinese celebration. And Cardi is a traditional Balinese cook, yeah. I know, Nat, this will be right up your alley and, and uh, by all of us, the, the, the taste and stuff, but when you're ordering stuff, like, I remember I want, the lady come around and looked at stuff and I don't understand a thing of it, right? So it's all... And then you order something that's basically a roasted pumpkin and you're sitting there eating it and it's delicious, but... In what world would have I ever, growing up in Williton, thought that roasted pumpkin Sean, would be a treat? On that, when I love um, when we did Nat's but night out at day. Stories, Sean, we went, we had dinner at Carla. We had dinner at three places, yeah. but one of them was the Carla, the restaurant, and one of their signature dishes is roasted cabbage, yeah. which is and uh, Nathan. It Actually, was so honest, delicious. You would have loved it. I do like cabbage. It's absolutely so delicious. But you go. It's cabbage. Yeah, It's exactly. cabbage. It's I, a cabbage. It's so when delicious. When I was growing up, if I found out that mum had hidden vegetables in something, I would burst out crying. <laughs> I was that... I was, t- I was scared of them. Yeah. I was I get genuinely it. scared yeah, of them. because our and parents boiled them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, they did, so, they so didn't to me, cook them they, with they, a delicious they, yes, curry so sauce. <laughs> I never got the vegetables tasting the best in my childhood no. in Kalgoorlie. No. But yeah, that wouldn't have mattered because I wouldn't have gone near them. And then when I was... Once I was at uni and stuff and I started like... Cooking vegetables, and you realise you couldn't afford meat. And I yes. thought they're, they're nice. Mm. <laughs> what a breakthrough! But for you. I was terrified of them. But yeah, <laughs> roast pumpkin. I would not mm. in a million years have eaten that when I was yeah. a kid. But no now way. I no will way. roast. I will roast pumpkin just by itself, yeah. and yeah. then I'll eat that by itself. What yeah. about like just a whole head of roasted cauliflower? You go, come on, it's delicious. Hey, we've so got to do that because Tony can ginger. We've both talked about that. I don't do. I know. I know you don't. But we need to do that together. I'll try it. What about bang bang cauliflower though? I love bang bang chicken. There you go. See. Is it cauliflower? Is it chicken? Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Great. Just been banged a few times. It's the Nathan, Matt, and Sean podcast. Look at this. She's back, everybody. She's amazing. Oh. She had not better than ever. We're still like, we're five days post big night. Yeah. Yeah. So, can you talk to us about what happened? Um, so I came into work on, what was it, Tuesday. Um, I realised I was still feeling a little bit rough. My voice had pretty much gone. Yeah. And so I said to David, look, David, I think I need to take the day off. My body's <laughs> shutting down. You said, you, went, you said you went home and her body shut down. <laughs> it shut down. How old are you now? Uh, 28. <laughs> so you know the best so thing it's is... It's over for me. It's no, in the prime of your life. Once you have a belter, right, you always say, oh, I'm never doing that again. Yeah. Until... The yeah. next day, you get a bit thirsty on the weekend. Right. So I'm this looking is at Harry thing. here. This is the thing. So T came to work on Monday, and, she, and that's a yeah. win. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And then you hear Tuesday, like, yeah, your body shouldn't shut down on Wednesday. <laughs> no, you should be. <laughs> it, it, should. it was just catching up on me. <laughs> your body, when your body's gone, no, 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 you're wrong. <laughs> yes. We've got to settle down. You're not 21 anymore, but that's I have so hands funny. this weekend, so. Oh, get okay. loose. Okay, so. I'm already dreading it. We'll book Anwen for next Wednesday. Nathan, Nat and Sean. Podcast. 
So I get in first in the morning and then Harry comes in and mm. we have our special Nathan and Harry time where we like take our clothes off. And, anyway. Um, uh, but anyway, we also have a little bit of a discussion about stuff. And I oh, told afterwards. Him, because we don't want to be awkward. While you're having a cigarette. <laughs> yeah, we get it. We don't want to be awkward, do we, Harry? We don't want to be awkward. I always walk in when you're having a dart. I always <laughs> wonder what that was all about. Okay. And, then, and then, then he's got the bare skin rug just covering his yeah, nipples. it's weird. <laughs> he's very old. Anyway, no, he's, <laughs> he's too old not to be that close to the fire, I tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I was telling him that I went to Ikea and um, I had a great time at Ikea. I went around, got the stuff I needed. Of course, you know, you get a couple of E14 yeah, um, um, light bulbs, of, uh, get some candles. Yeah, some tea lights. <laughs> hey, Nate, can I, can I say, the one thing that of, troubles yeah. me sometimes at Ikea is because you've got to follow the road, right, the, yeah. the Ikea path. You don't yeah, need to. It's very difficult to go back. There's a few. No, you don't need to. Yeah, it's fine, you know what, Sean? You just have to be respectful of going against the, against the yeah, current. Yeah, it's not yes. easy. Yeah, but there, you know the secret doors within yeah. Ikea, don't you? Yeah, no, I don't. Secret, you, because, you can cut through. Yeah, you can cut through. There's all little secret mm. doors that you can cut right through the guts mm. of it, and you don't have to go through the whole rat maze. Mm. Yeah, so once oh, you know that, news. once you know that, like, it's a different thing. So you okay. can cut to the chase. So you, you don't have to yeah. go past the sofas if you're yeah, not buying yeah, a sofa yeah. today. So anyway, so I did. I got, I got the stuff that I needed to get, and then I'm on the way out, of course. Hot dog, Natalie. Two dollars. Mm. I don't even know what they do with those chips, by the way. Those <laughs> chips. <laughs> Start the car and go to Ikea. The chips are one of the most amazing things I've had in a very long time. It's like they're double fried anyway. So are they crunchy. better than Jester's? Mm, yeah, Jester's seasoning is better, but the crunch mm. of an Ikea chip is way better. Okay. Mm. But, so then I, I got my uh, my chips and my, my hot dog with mustard and sauce, and then I sat in my car and I was telling Harry how I, I was sitting in my car and I just took it the first bite, and then suddenly something caught my eye, and I realised the person next to me, they were sitting in the car eating their hot dog and chips, and mm. then the person across from me, this woman waved, and she was eating her hot dog and chips as well. Anyway, I said to Harry, don't you just love Ikea? And then Harry said this. I, I actually said, I will never go to Ikea. Oh. I'd, I've been, but I said, I will never go. I don't want to go. Why? Everybody he lives their life through. He gets all his spinach no, through no, an no, empire. No, I, I, just, <laughs> it's, I just didn't believe I would go. This is, And I said to him, this is what... Because, you know, at the moment you're not here. You're not in this situation. Once you become a couple and once you move in together... All paths lead to Ikea, am I right? Because you need cheap 100%. storage. That's yeah. what you discover yep. very early on yep. is that you need somewhere to put your stuff and then so you go and buy storage and then you have to put it together together, yep. and then um, you have a big fight. You have your first big fight. <sighs> it's a right. <laughs> you will <laughs> notice big fights happening in Ikea. Because first you've got to decide what to buy. They're, trying to, put, they're trying to stifle it as you're walking past, but couples mm. are losing their minds at each mm. other mm. right at the ottoman section. And they are going sick at each other. You can see one, someone's tugging on someone's shirt, mm. and then they'll walk off. Sean, you and Megan, Ikea? Oh, we can't go together. But you've... But, but you, we but go. You go. Yeah, well, Megan's a regular IKEA go. I, I, I'll see because uh, they get these massive receipts that you get. Yeah, she buys all the um, like tea lights, and she'll come yes. home with a thousand new um, clothes hangers and different yes. stuff like that. Just all those kind of basic stuff. But I was blown away. Um, this happened in June, and again when I was in Bali just a couple of weeks ago. There is an IKEA that we go past as a shortcut. That's just in Bali. Oh, I'd say at the back of Kuda, and I reckon really as a, cl- a crow flies, it'd be about 700 metres from the beach. It's in this section and it's where everyone shops there. Boy, and I mean, so all the expats, Bali. I suppose. But got, uh, the locals? Full blown, I get big... F- yeah, uh, it's nowhere near as big as the one um, up in Carinup. No. no uh, what's it? Oh, sorry, Aussie Park area. Yeah. yeah. But it's nowhere near as big as that. But it, it, it's there. It's all signed up and that's where everyone goes to get their stuff. Do you reckon all the Balinese fighting in there as well? <laughs> <laughs> so do you reckon it's Balinese people going there or expats going there? No, both. Yeah, yeah right. because the Balinese guy who was driving it, he said that's what we were I tell you what, and I can understand why expats. expats going there. Oh, there. Ha- sorry, Harry's found it. There yeah. we go. Look how close oh, that close is to the beach. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. Back at Kuda. That's amazing. You know why expats are going there, Sean? Because they've moved there to have the idyllic Bali life and then they're just suddenly sick of sleeping in a coconut bed. Yeah. <laughs> like, like everything's like tiki torches and macrame rope. It's a lot. It's a lot. Hey, I want to teach Harry mm. of what's in possibly in his future and that is all couples go to Ikea. What happened when you went to Ikea? Yep. Did you fight about it? Yep. Have you as a couple not gone to Ikea yet? The only way that's possible mm. is if you come from money. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If you come from, like, the Reinhardt family, mm. there's yeah, no yeah, way you're not going there to get, no, no. like, not you know, no, no. To get a, a $19 side table. Well, well no. you've got your interior designer who's doing all your stuff for you anyway. For sure. 
we're discussing IKEA for couples. Is it a rite of passage? Do you have to do it um, to, in order to test your relationship to make sure you're solid? The only way that you wouldn't have gone to IKEA as a couple, I feel, is if you're a millionaire. Because <laughs> mm. uh, then you go to Nick Scarly. Angela well, is he's in always Maryland. having a sale night, so I wouldn't you? <laughs> Hi, Ange. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good, okay. Ange. Now, is IKEA something you've done as a couple's activity? We have done it twice. We've been married for 30 years and 10 days' time. <laughs> and you know what? It's the only thing we can agree on. IKEA is not for us. <laughs> and <never> will be. <laughs> so wh- what's happened at IKEA that has brought you to this conclusion? My husband does not like to be told what to do. So <laughs> you have to follow the route. Yes. Why do I have to follow the route? I don't want to buy a sofa or a bathroom suit. Why am I here? There's plenty of other things a lot closer to home. What am I doing in kitchen? Yeah, I hear you. But now that you know, like, and I asked that kind of question, and Nathan mm. and Nat were saying, there's different doors and you can get yeah, yourself around. You there know, are to... shortcuts, mm. for yeah. sure. But that is so funny, though, because yes. it just doesn't like being told which way to go. Yeah. <laughs> and then you've got to go down the stairs and you've got to go through all the market hall stuff, past so, the light bulbs and the pictures. Angela, if that was my father, which he would lock into something as stupid as that, mm. he would complain for every step of the journey. Mm. Is mm. that what your partner does? He complains every both minute times. of it? Yep, both times and I just after five minutes of walking in I was like, I'm done, we can just go to Kmart and buy it. I don't need it's time, it's just a home. Hey Angela, don't ta- don't ever take him to the Bunbury Farmers Market because that makes you follow the path as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Dad loves the Bunbury yeah, Farmers that's Market. That's a food thing. Yeah. I think for men, that's a bit yeah. of an easier. You know yeah. what? It always blows me away. I know mm. I've got two of my friends, um, uh, Chris and Beck Pope. They uh, when they're down here in Perth the, from Esperance, they go there all the time. But the, the people that eat in the cafe, they yeah. are that is packed. Oh, and there people are people are having... that just go there for lunch, mate, mate. The breakfast there, and if you are a uni student and you've got no yeah. money or whatever, the breakfast there is four dollars. Yeah. The value is four dollars to get a breakfast at IKEA, Whoa. Sean. Big, and the reason is a loss leader, Sean. Basically, oh, you I love get a you in the leader. door, so yeah. that then yeah. you buy um, it's a good chair. Yeah, yeah uh, a new yep. set of kitchen cabinets. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> That's funny. Thanks, actually. Ange. Adrian, hello. Hey guys. Hi, Hi Adrian. Adrian, is IKEA something you do with your partner? Um, no, we've never done it. <gasps> How long have you been together? Um, three years. Are you millionaires? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Do you live together? Yeah, yep. What happened? What, how did how? you furnish your house? How? <laughs> how? I don't know. Um, we've got like <laughs> been to Amart and Furniture yeah. Bazaar. Yes. And we have this furniture together, and yeah. it is, does not go well. <laughs> yes. But um, just never been. I've, I've never even been there. Ever, at all. Do you um, say you you own, oh my god! You've if, never been. If you've got nothing to do on the no. weekend, go there. It'll be uh, if you've it's never been there. If you've never been there, you sort of feel like you might be overseas or something. Mm. Yeah, like that's that. right. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I really need to go there now. Yeah, you can pretend you're in Stockholm. <laughs> what, what, what's, the, what's the temperature of your relationship? Um, you, both of you, like, do you com- uh, go combative over certain things in your relationship? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like you're building the furniture. I like, I tell him how to do it, but he he knows how to do it. Uh, and I don't. I go, you're, you're what I call my mother. My mother does this. Me and my dad will be building something in front of her. And mum sits there. We call her the lifeguard. Mm. Where she's like blowing the whistle and saying, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. It's like, I oh, will pick up the bloody Allen key a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Adrian. You go and report back to us, okay? Uh, Cass, hello. Hello, how are you? Okay, okay Cass. Cass. Are you an Ikea? Have you been there as a couple? I uh, actually have never been to IKEA. Again? So you're in a relationship? Yes, yes. Okay, how long have you been in this relationship for? Two years. Two years. And you're living together? Yes, yeah. And you're, this, this, you... I'm sorry, I don't even get it. Cass, we're saying that your partner works at IKEA. Are you saying that? Yes. Your partner works at IKEA and you have never been in there? Yeah. Talk, talk More to importantly, me. your partner's never taken you there. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> what, what's going on? Why? Why? I just don't know. Like, I I mean, I want to go, but, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't I know. I get addicted. <laughs> oh, you might get addicted. Yeah. I, I think I sometimes mean, when you first risk. discover IKEA, you suddenly think, oh, my mm. God, mm. this is amazing. And then it's like, a world of possibility. And then do you want your partner hanging out at your workplace all the time? Yeah, there's that. What does your partner do there? <laughs> what does he do? Is he in the warehouse or is he on the floor? Uh, he's 
um, like an off-site, so he actually delivers um, all the furniture to customers' houses and every bit. Ah, yeah. the people that don't reverse yeah. their car up to that loading bay, yeah. the ones, that, the yeah. ones that, yeah. that buy so much they have to get it delivered. Yeah. Those people, yeah. all right. I nice. think you need to put it into the mix, Cass. I think so, Cass. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't think people realise if you don't go to Ikea, you've got no gauge on whether your relationship's real or not. Yeah, or, or, <laughs> or solid or not. I think you need to go to really have a checkpoint of how you're going. It's a bit like, you yeah. know, they say you don't know your partner till you travel with them. It's a, it's it's Same like a that. dress rehearsal for that. Yeah. Before you go on holidays with them, go to Ikea yep. to buy one thing yep. with them. You've always got to happens. introduce one more man, and that's Alan. <laughs> and he's key. <laughs> yes. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Perth is back. Woo! Nathan, Nat and Sean's show from your suburb. Come on, everybody, let the good vibes roll. Shop and Active improves the lives of people with disability in WA. You can too by supporting Action for Active Day, Friday, October 4. Ah, yes. Tomorrow was our show from your suburb, and that suburb is Bassendine. Yep. We're coming, Basso. So, 10 Whitfield Street, Bassendine is the big reserve, yes. Sean. Oh, 10 Whitfield Street. Okay. Be there for the free coffee, free food, and heads up. There'll be fun things for do, to do for the kids. Last day... Of the school holidays. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to be uh, broadcasting live from 6am. Mm-hmm. We're going to be there all morning. Uh, we have been watching the weather uh, yeah. you know, with both eyes. Well, uh, look, there might be a couple of minor it's showers. Fine. We're not going to let fine. that put us off. No, nah, no. Nah. We'll be there. Yeah. So you should be there. And we'll sweeten it for you because somebody is going to win $10,000 on the day just for making a donation to Active Foundation. That's right, everyone. Oh, that's that's finish off deal. the school holidays with a bang and act yeah. like, tell your, parents, you know, tell your kids that you put this all on for them. <laughs> I know. All the fun of the fair. All all of it. This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Yeah. One word. One word. $5,000. Nova 937's missing word for ABC Blinds. Transform your home for less with ABC Blinds Spring Inspiration Sale. Save up to 40% off indoor blinds, shutters and sheer curtains. All right, so just one word stands between you and $5,000. Let's have a listen to the sentence. One of the random things on my TV cabinet is a... Mm. We got clues. We got clues. He bought it on eBay for less than 20 bucks, and it's made of brass. Hi, Gabby. Hey, guys. How you going? Great, Gabby. So, Gabby, you've never been over to my house, have you? (laughs) No, I okay. certainly have not. Have you sent a drone up to look through the window? <laughs> <laughs> Don't keep saying not that. that I, really do it. I, I was expecting it really last night, suddenly 100 drones. <laughs> <laughs> People find out where I live. Now, Gabby, you know Nathan, and when he says the word random, this yes. could be anything, so we're all kind of guessing what it may be. Mm. What mm. do you think the word is? Look, I'm going pretty random, but I'm guessing a logie. Oh, you think it's a logie? A logie. Oh, yeah. right. So why would you think I have a logie? Talk to me. Maybe you bought one because <laughs> of your time on Big Brother. Oh, because I yeah. bought one. I, yeah, right. If they had a logie, it would be a chocolate logie. I don't think yeah, it would be a brass it, logie. It would never... Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, the thing about this thing is, um, I this is an, a thing that probably you guys don't realise is that I have a love of brass things. <laughs> Didn't know that. I do. <laughs> like I'm drawn to things that are brass. So mm. that's but, something but that I've never cost, shared. Cost less than twenty dollars on. Natalie, I'm not. I'm not judgmental eBay. about the price of the Can brass. Can I ask you? Mm-hmm. Is that? But is, is, do you feel like there's a weight lifted off your shoulders? I do. For yeah. year, I've worked here for twenty nine years. I've never talked <laughs> about my love of brass. Secret brass. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> As he, everybody, he was just looking at Sam, straight who's filming camera. at the moment. Straight to the camera. I love it. So, Gabby, no joy, <laughs> not a Logie, we can confirm. Uh, uh, Laura no. is oh, an okay. Yes, Laura, sorry. sorry. Laura, hello. Hello. Hi, Laura. Hi, Hi Laura. Laura. Hi, Laura. Laura, how do you feel about brass things? Do you like brass things? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you You're for quite that. quite muffled there, Laura. Can you, you get closer to the phone or something? Yeah. Okay, okay, that's okay great. Perfect. All right, we'll play the sentence again. One of the random things on my TV cabinet is a... All right, Laura, for $5,000, what's the missing word? Horseshoe. Horseshoe. A brass horseshoe. A brass mm. horseshoe. I mean, no. Oh, that makes sense in Sean's house. Mm. Yeah, and my dad was a jockey. Yeah, yes, your family big that's and true. racing. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were I mean, a racing family. It's a pretty family. fancy horse yeah. wearing brass horseshoes, yeah. isn't it? Laura, what, sure. would, what would $5,000 do for you, Laura? <laughs> my horses. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe you could, be able maybe to get you could buy, buy a better phone line. <laughs> 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 it's hard not. to talk when your head's buried <laughs> in a pillow, <laughs> hey? Uh, <laughs> Laura. <laughs> no, sorry, it's honey. It's not a horseshoe, no, I'm afraid, horse but thank you. Oh, don't say that. Beck's in Forestfield. Hi, Beck. <laughs> Good oh, Becky. Becky. He's <laughs> far away as well. All right, Beck, we're going to play the sentence. One of the random things on my TV cabinet is a... What, what is, is it, it, Beck? Well, I don't think this is it, but that's all I can think of is a frame. A frame. A frame, as in a photo frame. frame. Yeah. A frame. Frame. Yeah. I mean, you can get brass frames. I, I, just a frame. I tell you, I went out frame shopping the other day. I know. Is it? Is it? Would Nathan Morris consider that random? Is what I ask myself. Oh, that's it's a really good question, isn't it, Natalie. Because you, you've, you've from, concentrated from on a certain word. There, yes, haven't you? yes, I have, haven't mm, I? Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, that's yeah. not would, random to me, then. I know, well but said. like in, in Nathan's house. A frame would almost be random because all of his other stuff it's is so, so weird. weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. To knock some more on. Yeah. 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 Will no, they look no, weird next to the taxi German platypus? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one of them. <laughs> so only a matter of time. Is it a frame, Nathan? No, it's not a it's frame. It's not a frame. Not no a frame. joy back, I'm afraid. Yeah. None from three. Oh, the five thousand dollars is still on the table, everybody. Ross is gonna have another clue for you after nine o'clock. I know we're gonna get a clue with Ross coming up, but mm. is Okay. No one's close. Okay. No one's close. But Natalie is probably the most interesting part of this whole uh, segment just then because yeah. she used the word random. Random. Yeah. And I think yeah. people are... Uh, it's random. Yeah. yeah. It's don't random. Don't think about what you would put on your and, and to be honest, TV cabinet. Don't really even think about what I would put on my TV cabinet. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's random for me to have it too. It's always random. Is it a toaster still <laughs> in the box? <laughs> <laughs> this is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. I spoke to our, my uh, producer Amy the other day. And we Your were, producer? Yeah, she's mine. Oh, she produces my life. She produces my life. Leash. Yep. That's good, mate. <laughs> and uh, she you, uh, thought about producing a partner into your life at all. <laughs> well, that's why we've got a performance review next week. That's where she's lacking. <laughs> exactly. Bringing men. I mean, to how me. many years does it take, Amy? Come on. <laughs> well, obviously a lot. Uh, and um, I said to her, I've got to get some photos printed. And she goes, go to Kmart. And I went, well, do Kmart still print photos? Yeah. And I didn't even know that that was still a thing. Have you? The last, the last time I was thinking, okay, when's the last time I printed a photo out? And I was like, it's been probably a decade. And then I remember, no, the last one I printed out of the photo was a photo I printed out of us with Anthony Albanese, which is now yeah. on his mantle. Okay. And that's the yeah. only photo that I yeah. printed out in the last decade. Do you print out photos? Oh, I haven't for a while, but I I, I, when I did it, I did it at Officeworks a few years ago. Yeah. No, no, I haven't done it for that mm. long, but I know where the section is in Kmart mm, yeah. at uh, mm. Guard but, City. Uh, mm. Look at all the photos we have on our phones. Yeah. Isn't that hilarious? And none of us ever print them mm. out. So anyway, they told me that because oh, I was getting some in a in the bigger size, a five by seven, that I'd have to wait half an hour, and I was like, oh, and I said, really? Is that how long it's going to take? And he goes, yeah. Oh, he goes, it's a very busy man. <laughs> no, not busy. It's, a, you, 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 it's dangerous spending half an hour and came up with nothing to do because suddenly after half an hour your trolley's full and you don't need that many trays or even one or air fryers. <laughs> oh my god, coasters! I bought marble coasters. I don't need them. Like, are you serious? I don't need these coasters anyway. I've got two packets. Uh, That's so, the Morris in as, yeah, yeah. as I'm walking around trying to. Find my urge to put everything I see yeah. into the trolley. Yeah. I've walked into this um, aisle and I'm sort of, you know, perusing things, just sort of, you know, trying to count the time down. And then I heard this, um, those stifled arguments that you have with your partner on the phone, you know. So um, uh, some uh, chick was on the phone to her partner and she was getting angry, so she was, don't talk like this, you know, yeah, you know yeah, Sean, yeah. the way you talk to nah. Megan. Yeah. And anyway, <laughs> so then I've, I'm laughing because I can hear the, what she's saying. Goes, no, no, no. And I was just like, this is pretty intense. And then she sort of walked around the corner and she's seen me. And then she said to me, no, I'm not. And then she goes, excuse me, to me. And then I went, what? And she goes, I, I said, yeah. And then she goes, what shop are we in? And as she said that, in her trolley is a Woolworths bag. And she started furiously pointing to the to the Woolworths bag. And I said, Woolworths. And then I went, I put my hands up. Like, is that right? And then she nodded. And she goes, yeah. And she goes, see, I'm not at Kmart. So, and then afterwards I said to her, what was that about? And she said, my partner has banned me from going to Kmart. Because every time I come in here, like me, at that moment, because I had half an hour to kill, she fills a trolley up with the crap that she doesn't need. How many coasters yeah. did she have? Twelve. <laughs> All the coasters. But that's... 
insane when you're getting to the point where you start asking a stranger to lie for you in their shops. And then on the other side, how do you feel about lying for a stranger? I, you I just loved jump it. straight to the defence. I loved it. If a stranger walks up and needs my help as a lie, I will yep. say it and I'll say it convincingly. Yeah, well, that's good to know if, some, if a murderer needs an alibi. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same, Nathan. I feel like I'd, I'd jump in straight away and just yeah. go with it. Have you ever asked a stranger to lie for you? Oh, I'm going to say yes. But, you've you've uh, hoped one would lie for you, haven't you? <laughs> I can't remember one in recent times. Yeah. Oh, but. okay. Megan's up, is she? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I like talking at 11 past 8? <laughs> it's the wrong time. I want to know, has anyone else been in that scenario that I was in Kmart the other day? Has a stranger lied for you? Or have you asked a stranger to lie for you? Maybe you're trying mm. to get out of work. Mm. Um, maybe, you know, you're trying to throw your partner off the scent of yes. something. Yes, yeah. definitely there'd be guys that have been at the pub and wanted to oh, their wife to know so they're they're then all the, the men in the background all the amazing in the background yes. are pretending they're in the office yes hey Janice yes I'd like we'll that, circle back like to that on the C drive <laughs> <laughs> click 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 it's so hard you get everyone to turn the music down or yeah. the TV down or something along those lines or you walk out of the pub because you walk down the street yeah, a bit yeah, to have yeah. the conversation yeah alright so this is a pretty simple question it's um it's uh, have you ever lied for a stranger or has a stranger ever lied for you so um, I was in Kmart and a woman mm. walked up to me and asked me to lie to her, to her husband on the phone by pointing furiously at her Woolworths bag, suggesting that I say that instead of telling him know that she's in Kmart so spending money because she's obviously banned from there. If you're listening and you've banned your wife from Kmart and a <laughs> random guy yelled She had Woolworths blonde straight hair so on the just phone. down to her shoulders. What day was it? Um, it was Monday, yeah, Tuesday, 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 I think. Tuesday. Yeah. It was mm. Tuesday. Uh, Matt's in Karen up. Good morning, Matt. <laughs> She'd be furious. Good morning, gang. How you going? Hey, Hi, Maddie. Right, Maddie. Good. Okay. Now, did you lie for a stranger or did a stranger lie for you, Matt? I had a stranger lie for me many years ago. So, mm -hmm. many years many years ago, and I was backpacking with my girlfriend. We were flown into JFK Airport, New York, our first trip to the US. We're standing in a, sky, in a long queue in some sort of skywalk, and to my left, there's a door that clearly goes out of the tarmac. And because Americans being Americans are very, very explicit, on the door it says, do not touch this door. <laughs> which is like a red rag to a bull. <laughs> <laughs> so I start playing with the door, and before you know, all the alarms in the skywalk go off. There's security guards running up and down the way. <laughs> and my girlfriend who's in front of me turns around and looks at me and says, you touched that door, didn't you? Because she knows exactly what I'm like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just go and full denial. No, nope, no, nope, it wasn't me. I didn't touch the door. It was nothing to do with me. And the guy behind him could see what was going on. He just leaned forward and said, no, no, he didn't touch the door. Oh. No, he didn't touch the door. It was an accident. Oh, oh Matt. You didn't, didn't even ask, ask him. Yes. Oh. Didn't even have to ask him. It was awesome. I thought, oh, thanks, dude. What a great man. You know what? what? If there are people that? like that, if there are people like that in the world that yes. are just waiting to lie for someone without even being asked, yeah, that is that, that, that's a bloody good person. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that is hilarious. Maybe because mate. he didn't want to stand next to a brawling yeah. couple for the for the rest of the time they're in the queue. Hey, for Matt, preservation. Matt, so are you the person? If there's a big red button, you will press it. Yes. <laughs> you should be a train driver, no. <laughs> Matt, was this... Especially, especially if, it says, if it says do not touch. Do not touch. Do not touch. Was this incident before or after 9-11? Oh. Well before. Well before, yeah, okay. Otherwise, you'd otherwise. still be in prison, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, Matty. Thank you. Michael's in Bayswater. Hi, Mike. Hi, how are you? Hey, Good morning. Now, did you lie for a stranger or did a stranger lie for you? Uh, lied for a stranger. So... I was in Aberdeen Street, Brick Paving, in my 20s. Yeah. And, uh, we're working away. A fella comes running around the corner, looks at us, jumps over the orange bunting, takes his shirt off, picks up some pavers and starts laying some bricks. <laughs> yes. We start to see each other going, what the hell's going on here? Uh, about a minute or two later, a copper's running around the corner. Look, walk up the road, keep going. We didn't say anything. We didn't stop working. Uh, didn't talk to him all day. And... Day, 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 day. Day. He worked the entire day. He, he made 300 bricks. <laughs> he got a shift from Hey, Mike. Uh, the boss goes, yeah. uh, you want a job? He said, yeah, no worries. He got come hired. Work, yeah, he come work for about three weeks, but then he must have gone to court because we never saw him again. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. Escaping the police, he took his shirt off, started working for you. You guys hired him on the spot. Yes. And then he disappeared yeah. after three weeks. Because he had a go-get attitude. Yeah. Ah, well, he, probably, he obviously had the skill to lay bricks then, so he previously must have done it along the journey? Yeah, quite possibly, yeah. He, he knew the pattern, he knew what he was doing, he just jumped over the bunting and started 
I mean, that's that an amazing so way to get away from the cops is just to yeah. blend in by doing physical labour. Amazing story. Okay, these are good. Hi, Sean. G'day, guys. There you go. Okay. Okay. It's funny, Sean. we're hearing from all guys about this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough to get them on, isn't it, for different stuff? But, yeah, but now we're, 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 we're just talking about lies or <laughs> yeah. lying or lying from someone else. Hey, Sean. It's not me. It's not me, oh, but okay. another talk guy. To, talk uh, us through unfortunately. it. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah, so, so. Um, it's my son. Yes. Uh, he's a 21-year-old. He, for the last, I don't know, 10 years or so, he tells people that he was born in Bradford, England, where oh. my wife, his mum, is from. Yes. Yes. And I, he thinks it sounds more exotic than Mount Lawley. <laughs> so, <laughs> Bradford, I'm England. Sorry. I would be stoked if I was born in Mount Lawley. Mount Lawley's a nice area. It's beautiful. Yes. Bradford's a shithole, to be honest. But, yeah, um, I've been through Bradford, <laughs> and yes, it's not the, it's not England's finest, to put it that way. He just thinks it sounds glamorous yeah. or more exotic or something. I don't know. A lot of his friends think he's born in Bradford, England. Well, so. I guess it's a bit of a hook when you get going. Then yeah. you've got, so there's going to be another follow-up have you, question. Have you ed- ever had to back up his lie? Yeah, just go along with it? No. Yeah. No, I, we just never... I just, no, we make sure we never bring it up in conversation. So no. if, if he's somewhere and, and his friends were talking about it, would you correct him or would you just mm. go go with it? I, I'd probably go with it because it would embarrass the shit out of him. And no, but I mean, that's but the main he's, attraction. <laughs> he's, well, no, no, tempting. He's going away uh, to Bali with some friends. Yeah. And he's just hoping they don't see his passport. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough to read that one. <laughs> oh, sure. Hey, sh- told loads of people that. That's a I weird thing to live at. Hey, Sean, when did you move from Mount Lolly to the Vines? Um, we never lived in Mount Lolly. We, we were in Ellenbrook and then the Vines. Oh, he was yeah, just, yeah, just yeah, yeah, born yeah, just at Mercy. At Mercy, yeah, around the corner from where he used to be, Nathan. But you drove from like Mount, Mount, you drove from Ellenbrook to to Mount Maylands to have a baby. To the vines, so yeah, we're right, yeah. Mm. So that's where your doctor involved. is, I guess. Yeah, yeah. no, but that's a long drive, isn't yeah. it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> when, yeah. when you're in labour. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I don't know, I don't know why it, it was there, but it, yeah, it was there. Yeah. Was like, How long did the husband? It was 45 minutes. And <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, good on you, Sean. Thank you. Laurie's in Aussie Park. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi Laurie. Hi, Laurie. Okay, you're the first woman to Hi. chime in. Now, did you lie for someone or did somebody lie for you? Well, yeah, very funny story. Um, and by the way, I would love to if you going to try it. It would be wonderful. Okay, oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, well, I, hope, I hope your story's I'll good. good. Alright, keep going. Okay, here's my story. Years and years ago, uh, we were travelling through Heathrow Airport and my brother had too many cigarettes to take through customs. <laughs> yeah. And he asked the chat- he asked the chap in front if he'd mind taking 200 <gasps> cigarettes through for him. Yes. And he said, no, cool, absolutely, I'll do that for you. Yeah. So he did it, and on the other side, he said, they started chatting. Um, and my brother asked him who he was, and he, he said, what's your name? He said, oh, by the way, I'm Henry Mancini. Do you remember Henry Mancini? Musician, yeah. Very old school, yes, musician. It turns out Henry took 200 cigarettes. Like for my oh, that's nice. That's nice. It was a wonderful experience. That is hilarious. Henry, 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 Henry Mancini. Yeah. I Harry, don't know Harry's going to give us a lowdown on Henry Some Mancini. Some of Henry's finest work right here. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, they're what? Pink but Panther? Pink Panther yeah. thing. He created the Pink Panther thing. Well, it's yes. credited here. American yeah. composer and conductor. Do you have any yeah. songs that we all know? No, oh, that one? no, no, no. We don't want to sing. Is, this. is he a singer or is he just, oh, no, no, just a composer. composer and conductor? Oh, that's amazing, yeah. Yeah. Harry. Yeah, that's interesting. But how would you pull him out of a lineup? I know. I know. Yeah, I would never know. You'd have to ask his name. No, he's been a guy creeping around. That's but I tell you know. what, that's brilliant. I wonder how many times back in the day when that oh, cigarette, cigarette thing, thing was happening. Because now it's still now, happens, now, No, no, no there's a limit. No, I think mum and dad were saying you can't even bring it. So duty free, or I think you can only bring in one pack. I think it's it's reduced down to something ridiculous that it's not even worth people. I think my, when, when we were over in, um, when we were, when I was over in Bali just the other week, my mate was buying darts and having to smoke again. hadn't hadn't yeah. for a while, but they were five dollars, so I he know. felt like he had to. Yeah. Oh yeah, that sounds <laughs> right. Good morning to the cancer castle. <laughs> it's the Nathan, Nat, and Sean podcast.
Fantasy Arena, Saturday, 15th of February, 2025. All tickets on sale now. For details, head to FrontierTouring.com. We have two tickets to see Miss Carly Minogue's Tension Tour at RAC Arena up for grabs right now for, with a round of Confide in Me. Today we're asking you to confide your deepest, darkest secrets. Yep, yeah, confide to us. Actually, confide in Perth because Perth's listening. Now, if we don't believe this story, then you're going to get hosed down. And you're gonna, yeah. The cops are going to come yeah. and you're out of here. And we have let anybody that choose to use a fake name. Yes, of course. Um, this first person, there's no way their name's really Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hi, how are you going? Hi, Sarah. Yeah, All right. Sarah. We'll call you Sarah. Um, I don't know if it's real or not. Um, Sarah. It's real. What, okay, great. <laughs> what would you like to confide in us? I'm going to confide in you. I bite my toenails. <gasps> oh. oh. <laughs> How do you, do you do it? So She's you do not it. lying about that because that's gross. So you do that in private? Yes. Um, sometimes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> who, know, who knows about you biting your toenails? Oh, uh, look, my I do have a twelve-year-old son, and he has seen me a few times. Mm. Um, so you know, call it a secret, call it not. Um, he oh no, 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 it. no! It's not something that publicly people know about no. you, is it? Jeez. Oh. Are you double well, jointed in the everything? Into it, am no. I? Can you do? Can you actually get your foot to your mouth, Matt? Oh, Sean, this is about show. Yeah. Sean, Sean, we can all get our foot, feet in our mouths. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, okay, can. So, yeah. <laughs> so you would sit there and do this on the couch while you're watching TV, Sarah? Absolutely. Yep. And are your soul face up, so the soles of your foot's facing you, and then you? No, no, no. What, what do you mean? My, no, my toes. So <laughs> it's like they're so coming up this way. Yeah. Yeah, but like the soul will be facing you, away from your face. Yes. It'll be hard to get the angle on your toe. See how you're doing which, it? Which one are you chewing? Is it the little toe or the big toe? Or the all of them? Toe, the big toe. Sir? No, you can get it. But you're getting it sideways, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but, but I don't think you're chewing it that way. Take, yeah. I can, like, move my... Like, <laughs> <laughs> you have got to get in there, you know? Sean, this I've been is, here physically doing it this so This is short. what you're Mate, mate, I'm investigating every yeah. story to the, the nth degree. There's no way Sarah's yeah. lying about that because it's so gross you wouldn't want anybody to know. So I can see why you keep it a secret. Sarah, you, you, so you're single currently at the moment? <laughs> No, no, I do have a partner. You kiss um, a man with that mouth. <laughs> he doesn't know that I do this. <gasps> oh. See, this is a secret. You should ask Sarah. him to bite for you if he loves you. That's gross. All right, you hang there, Sarah. Hang Sarah. Sarah. If Megan asks you to bite her toenails. Not a, oh, it depends what she's offering. To bite your toenails? <laughs> no, his. Yeah. It's gross, isn't it? Let's move yeah, on to Lisa thing. from Mandra. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Hi guys, I don't think I can compete with Sarah. Uh, uh, of course you can. Hey, you don't know how powerful your your secret is, yes. so confide in us, please confide. <laughs> Uh, I was driving one morning and I had a coffee and it must have gone through me really quickly and I put myself in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Liar! No, that's beautiful. No, no, she's not lying. She's not lying. I don't know she put herself in the car. Yeah, that's you why you can't it. go full strength milk I mean, sometimes. Sure, You've got to you, go with the watered down number. You really should appreciate this as somebody who peed their pants in the okay, car. So I hate this. Can we, can we ask? So, <laughs> remember? I about that. You're on your way to work, yes? Is that right? No, no, I was on my way to my dad's place. Luckily, I had a whole lot of baby wipes in the car, oh. and I kind of managed to clean myself as I was driving. I <laughs> didn't even pull over. Oh, my God, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, that's very I'm so safe. I'm sorry. If you're cleaning up your crappy pants, I yes. think that's a pull-over situation. <laughs> To pull oh, up mate, you don't know what I can do while I'm driving. Wow. <laughs> okay, so you're banned from coffee forever. Thank you, Lisa. You hang there. Uh, let's go to Julie. We're going to call her in Dianella. Morning, Jules. Hi, uh, Jules. Morning. Hi, Julie. Hi, Jules. All right, Julie. so, Julie, feel free to confide in us, and if it's good enough, you'll walk away with these mm. Kylie tickets. I have a huge secret, okay. which nobody else knows, mm. that this particular person stole $23,000 and got away with it. What? You and know. And it's a true story. Yeah. And, um, uh, I don't know, you ask me questions and I'll see if I can answer so, it. <laughs> so it's somebody you know of who stole $23,000. Yes. So did they steal yes. it from a personal mm -hmm. from person, a person or from a company? Company. <gasps> are so they still you... working there? No. Okay. But are you? is it the company that you work at? No. no. Okay, that person's not working there. Have they been cited for the incident or they've yes. got away with it to this point? Got away. How did you know about it? Because I know them. And then they told so you? So they told you? Yes. <gasps> I mean, did they do anything criminal. good with the money? <laughs> yeah, what did they do? Um, well, spent it on whatever, yeah. Yeah, just yeah. jet skis, I'm guessing. Yeah. Nothing to do with me at all. Mm. I had nothing. Yeah, but, I know. Um, but yeah. once they told you, you're an accessory, you so that's a crime as well. I know. Harry, How exciting. Hit it, mate.
Um, what? No, no, no. There you go. On. I didn't. No, you leave her alone. <laughs> what do you mean, leave her alone? No, She's not lying. I no, I'm not, and I didn't find out till later on. Yeah, yeah. later on. Yeah. That's your defence in court, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Back yeah. of the van for you, yeah. my friend. So, it's, is it something? Do you then like hold it over the this this um, person that you know? Like, is it like I know something oh, I that have you did? Nothing to do with that no. person anymore. There's, there was other things that person did too yeah. that um, are just not right. Yeah. Wow. $23,000. Mm. I'm sorry. I know that you don't want to have anything to do with that crime, but I'd be demanding some hush money. Yes. It's an interesting number, isn't it? Like 23, like, yeah. 25. At least so I can go there and have a special time at the Apple shop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Julie. You hang there. Wow. We're going to go to Stella in Shelley. Good morning, Stella. Good morning, team. How are we? Good, Great, Stella. Stella. Confide in us. Now, this is being very honest, and I've told nobody this ever. <laughs> But when I'm sitting down on the couch watching Netflix, probably with a glass of red, I'm picking my cracked heels and I throw them at the cat and he eats them. And <laughs> 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 we're done. Well, and we're no, done. That's so good. Yeah. I mean, she eats it. She tells the cat it's fancy feet. But, <laughs> is, but this is the worst thing, though. We do know that, you know, sometimes if you die at home, the cats eat your face yeah, and this cat's right. already had a taste of you. Yeah, that's right. This cat's asking like, oh, well, the, the amuse bush was delicious. It's I wonder what the, the face is like. Oh. That, sorry. I mean, Stella, no further questions. No I further think. questions. That's I, extraordinary. Unbelievable. Right. These have no, been great calls. Yes, the secret is out. <laughs> Can we just go over the, how, yes. how good these stories have been? So we had the nails. You, you, you're eating the she nails from your feet. Yeah. Eats, choose her own toenail. She has a partner who doesn't know that she does Natalie, this. you're disgusted by that, That's gross. Yeah. But then we've got um, Lisa. Up. Lisa pooed herself in the car yeah. and then, wiped, <laughs> then, then cleaned herself up while still driving. Whilst driving. Um, Julie knows that somebody stole $23,000 from that. Julie got a bit spooked because Julie hung up straight yes. away after, which, after she told us. Yes, very vague about a story. Her, her name wasn't actually it? Julie. No. Just so and you know. Stella, that was very interesting. Yes, and guess what, Stella? Did. You're walking away Stella. with Kylie Minogue tickets. Yes. Hello. Stella. Stella, you're off to see Kylie Minogue. That was... Oh, my God. Bringing yeah. the cat into it, got it from it. Oh, no. <laughs> and if you can, please let Kylie know your story. Yes, two tickets to see Kylie Minogue's oh, attention to at RAC Arena. All yours, Stella. Oh, my God. Thank you. I might even take Parker the cat with me on a lead. Mm. Good luck with that. <laughs> we'll make sure he's full beforehand. <laughs> There'll be plenty of cracked heels there. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just so glad we asked. Hey, thanks um, for everyone for calling. That was awesome. Also, I'm so you're proud all gross. Of you all. So gross. No, they're the best. So disgusting. I love it all. Nathan, Nat and Sean. Podcast. Tomorrow, yeah. by this time tomorrow in Bassendine, we will have given somebody $10,000. Yeah, that's now, exciting. Right now you're going, wait, I'd like it to be me. It, yes. It could be you because all you have to do is come down. We're going to be doing our mm. show from 6am. We're at Big Reserve in Bassendine. Make and, a donation to Active. And then boom. Put yourself in the running. You have to stay there though. You've got to be yeah. there to claim it. Yeah. yeah. $10,000 though. And we've got heaps of free stuff. We've got free food. We've got free yeah. coffee. We've got free entertainment for the kids. If it's getting, because it's getting towards the end of the school holidays and you're running out of things to do, this is something to do. Yeah, by the way, we're kicking off at 6am, yes. so please, someone come down and just keep yeah, us coming at that time. Come I know early, a lot of people, no queue for the coffee for at six. If we don't see anyone by 7, we're packing up and leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> Rain, hail, okay? or shine will be there, yeah, but the sun said, always yes. shines in Bassendine, so it should be fine. That's yeah. right. We're um, black and white, everyone. Please <laughs> do yourself a favour and um, download our podcast today because you're going to hear um, a lot of men that are ready bang up to lie to yes, a first stranger. Yes. And then also you're going to hear, if you didn't just hear them then, the Confide in Me Carly Confessions were unbelievable you and are disgusting. require mouthwash. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, Ross, what that did you think was, of oh, those? That was messed up. The, the toe one. I know. So, oh, what about the feeding the cat, the dry the skin off skin. your heels? Oh, God, I missed that. That, oh, that happened you? too? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. She picks, she picks the um, dry skin off of her heels and, and then it, she and throws it. that at the cat and the cat eats it. What the hell? That is messed up. Hey, tomorrow when you're going down to Bassendine, yeah, also yeah. for the kids, there's face painting, yeah. petting zoo probably. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, mermaid hair braiders. I don't yeah. know what that is, oh, but yeah, it sounds okay. fun. Yeah. So the they girls, put, like, everyone loves that. You know that um, that long uh, hair that sort of changes colour? Um, mm. they, they basically put that into the girl's hair. But okay, also yeah, yeah. stick some fish scales on you, actual yeah. fish scales. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. <laughs> um, we've got the Revo gang in here. I thought I uh, Dwight can intro the, the first song. Do you remember what it was? Come over to the mic. Uh, I believe it was Milkshake by... <laughs> Kalish, Kalish. Wow. 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 He just he just ruined the radio station. Thanks a lot. 
Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.